everyone. Welcome back to Open. Our next guests is our group of creatives, also known as the Brady Bunch, who all have the opportunity to participate in the BX48 Film Challenge to create a thriller entitled A Night Call. And the short film follows a young woman that goes on a date with a high school classmate that she comes across on a dating app, but is not exactly what she expects. Hmm. Joining us to tell us more, we welcome producer and director Leo Marin Rodriguez, actor Sonji Lopez, and Leonardo Rodriguez. Hola. Hi, Rina. Hi, you guys. The Brady Bunch. You got to tell me. We got to open up with that. The Brady Bunch, because, bueno, estamos con Rodriguez y Lopez. Tiene que ser español. Well, Sanji, I'm going to let Sanji take this one. She got the story behind this. So we are the Brady Bunch, El Brady Bunch, El Brady Bunch, like you said, Rina. And the name came to fruition because we were all meeting virtually through Zoom. So like we were looking at each other like, hey, hey, hey. And we're like, yo, we're the Brady Bunch, naturally. So that's how the name came to fruition. Okay, so uh, when you say you were meeting, you were meeting together for this rehearsal process through Zoom, uh, because I did not introduce you, but I do want to share with everyone that uh, everybody here is also works at Bronxnet, except for Leonardo, but the, right, Leonardo is not at Bronxnet, is he? I don't know, because, you know, I haven't seen everybody in so long that I, I don't know who's with us and who's not. Um, but, you know, I will say Leonardo's looking a little creepy creepers over there, like in the film, but we'll get to that in a minute. However, uh, both these young ladies are with Bronxnet. Um, Leo Mari is, uh, works in uh, programming, right? I don't know exactly your exact title. Sanji is a producer. She also hosts Open BXRX on Tuesdays. Um, Leo Mari, tell me the exact title that you carry with the I'm the content acquisitions coordinator. So I just search for films and, you know, video content and we put it on the channels. That's what's up. And it's lovely that it's all related and that now you're able to showcase your film, um, especially during this particular time. So going back to the making of this film and the process, which is what Sanji was talking about, that you were all meeting through Zoom and everybody was, I guess, connecting and rehearsing, looking at each other like this. Um, let's, let's talk ab uh, about what that whole process was from beginning to end. Sure. So we, me and Sanji already knew the organizers from the Bronx Film 48 Festival a year ago, and we were kind of just wanting to tune in to see if they were going to have this festival during the pandemic. And when we found out that they were, we put our heads together and then we started reaching out to people to see who would be interested in joining us during the process. And it was kind of a back to back thing where people just started saying yes, yes, yes. Um, and we just went back and forth like, do we need an editor? Do we need this person? Do we need that person? And uh, that's, that's how things came to be. So a lot of it, you know, the Brady Bunch, we were meeting through Zoom, through Google Hangouts, and that's where the beginning of, of our team came to be. Of the, of the team, right. And then um, I personally did never knew that Sanji was an actor. I am a character. I'm not an actor, but, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, we love I've that about like, you. <laughs> you know me, Rina, I always like acting crazy and, and, you know, making people laugh. So this is a completely different venture for me. But Leo Mari believed in me and Leonardo, her brother, um, in taking on this role. And this is completely different. It's completely out of my realm. But I had so much fun, like, playing this role and learning how to, like, act scared in a film, in a horror film, not to give too much away. Right, don't give too much away. But uh, now we're going to talk to Leonardo over here, who is uh, disguised as what? What is that, a perrito? Is that a Doberman? Uh, is I'm a, I want to say it's a wolf. It's, it's a little cooler than a dog. <laughs> no puedo. No puedo. You, you, you got your backdrop set and lovely. I mean, you're like really into this horror stuff. And quite frankly speaking, you're a little on the creepy creeper side in the film. Yes, I am. So can we see your face so we can show everybody? Sure. <laughs> there you are. Pero Hopefully man, I don't look as creepy as that. <laughs> So let's talk about how, how much time it took to put the whole thing together, shooting in the, that apartment. Um, obviously, you had to deal with angles. You had to deal with lighting. You had to deal with reenacting the uh, the scared that, I mean, I don't want to give too much away either, but it was, it was an interesting concept and um, actually made me wonder, mm, maybe people shouldn't be dating on Tinder. <laughs> right, right. Or yeah, in person so anyway. 
Yeah, yeah. So it was it was a challenge itself, just dealing with the pandemic uh, on its own because we didn't know if it was safe to be inside or outside. That was the time period of the pandemic that we had to shoot in. But the the challenge was that they had us shooting inside. So we did the best that we could with that. Thankfully, the team was well versed in like lighting um, and the space. It's an apartment, but it's pretty big. So we had like a writer's room. We had most of the space converted into the set. Uh, or different set and settings. So that that was something that that helped out a lot that we had the space to do it and it was sufficient enough for us to do it. And the team, the team was was amazing. So the turnaround was it 48 hours to complete the whole film, edited and all? Yeah, so they gave us the the genre and you know our prompts the on a Friday and we had to submit everything finalized by Sunday. So 48 hours, yeah. And so Sanji, um, I know you're an actor in, in the whole thing as well, but uh, what, what other roles were you playing? Because I know if you guys had to do this in 48 hours, everybody was wearing multiple hats. Oh, definitely. You know, so before we even started, Leo Mari and I, like she said, kind of like explored the topics that we were gonna um, like try to shoot. At first we wanted to like shoot a dog story, but then that was out of the question. And then we conceptualized like a story about, you know, dating and all of this stuff. And then the other group, the other part of the group, cause this is only three out of like six of us, Leo, right? I think it was the Brady Bunch is like, yeah, it's comprised of many more people that are not here with us today, but they brought everything to light with us. And I feel like maybe my other role was maybe helping produce a little bit and like, uh, but besides that, I was just taking acting cues. Like I was trying to be on my best behavior as an actor, not be dramatic, not be like overwhelmed in 48 hours, Rena, can you imagine like shooting? No, like, that's hours a straight? Oh we my gosh. For like 10 hours and we had to do retakes and retakes. And I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> The crying was for real. The crying was yes. for real. <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> so, Leonardo, Leonardo, what was that like working with your sister? Uh, it was pretty fun. Uh, I've always seen her work on these projects. She would always do photo shoots, films, and I would kind of be in the background helping out. And I was never really a part of it. So finally being a part of one of her projects was a pretty good experience to finally be an actual part of the entire process rather than just in the background watching everything unfold. Are you an actor? Uh, I wouldn't consider myself an actor, but um, I do like tricking people into having them think that I'm somebody I'm not. So I guess in a way it kind of correlates. <laughs> oh my gosh. And, and the fact that he's an officer, right? Ooh, did I give too much away? <laughs> nah. All right, so congratulations, right? Because you also won the contest, no? Yes. Well, and I won so, an, an award within, I won a couple awards in the contest. Awards within it, right? And so now it's going to premiere on BronxNet, and it's wonderful that you're premiering it on Halloween. And so before we go, I, I want you each to just share what you want people to walk away with and what you got out of it. But really quickly, because we're, 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 gonna, we're short on time. Yeah, man. So for me, I would say just do it. Just do whatever comes to mind when it comes to being creative. My lane is documentary, but if you feel called to do something else that's not in your lane, well, you, you never know until you try. So that's, that's what I got out of it. That's awesome. I got to share the same sentiment. I mean, sharing the same sentiment as Leo, just do it. Like, I didn't know anything about acting and I delved into this for a 48 hour film challenge. And also I want to add that the film scene in the Bronx is booming. It's people are out here making films just like Leo Mari. So I'm just happy to be a part of this amazing um, venture with uh, the Brady Bunch. Awesome. And Leonardo. Yeah, I, I third that. So um, if you ever feel like you, you don't feel comfortable doing something, you should do it anyway. Like uh, when my sister told me about the film, I was like, I'm, I'm not an actor. And when I started having that thought, uh, I realized I'm at a point in my life where when I do feel uncomfortable, I do want to get out of that comfort, comfort zone. And I end up saying yes anyway, just so I can go ahead and just do it and see how it goes. That's what's up. And you know, this if there's anything that this time period has taught us all is to just pretty much explore anything that you have maybe kept suppressed or doubted in the sense of like, we pretty much don't know what tomorrow's gonna promise. So you might as well just expand on anything you're interested in doing. And I, I just wanna congratulate you all on taking the 48 hour challenge. And, uh, and also for you guys, uh, what this 
48 hour challenge, excuse me, the film is called Night Call and it's gonna be airing on Bronxnet channel Optimum 68, 2134 files on Saturday, October 31st at 8.30 p.m. And uh, what well, we recommend that you guys tune in, support our peeps, local filmmakers. And for more on filmmaker and photographer, Leo Marie Rodriguez, you can follow her on Instagram at directed by Leo. We do have to take a quick break, but when we return, uh, we're going to learn what the next generation is doing to encourage people to vote for this upcoming election. Don't go anywhere.